Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Nightcap Gamer, my name is Josh, and tonight we're playing some more Lord of the Rings Online. Now, first things first, I gotta get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Um, I do have to apologize if there's any lag in this video. They just made the switch to the uh, new data centers over at Turbine, um, so I am fluctuating very much with my latency. Um, it's gone up over a thousand milliseconds at one point, um, and just going back and forth. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully I don't die because of it or anything. Uh, poor Al. I'm worried about him, you know? I, I do worry about him. I think you guys do too. Um, also, I've gone ahead and spent some turbine points and I've unlocked my first two class trait skills. So I've got Bob and Weave, and I've also used a point uh, to upgrade the percentage of my Bob and Weave healing. And I've also unlocked Blind Bet, uh, so after a double-edged strike I can make a quick attack to apply a random gamble. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, honestly, it's been a while since since I played a burglar uh, with these skills. Um, mostly I've been leveling other characters in my spare time, when I have spare time. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes, uh, but the Bob and Weave healing I think is going to be very helpful, especially at this point in the game. So, today, what are we going to do? It's very rainy, isn't it? Oh, it's very rainy and wet. Uh, but I love it. I love it when it rains in game. It's kind of one of my, like in real life, I'm I'm actually much happier when it's raining than when it's not. I don't know. It's just one of those things. I think there's actually a name for, for people who feel that way. I'm not sure. Tell me if you guys know. Um, so we're gonna talk to Candace. Uh, we're we're starting book three, the forward of book three, uh, fires in the north. And apparently Frederick sent us to Candace. He he has something very urgent that he needs to tell us. How can I be of service? Esteldin sends word that you are to go there and meet with Halbered. Please hurry, for the orc fires burn hot and strong, and each moment we waste is another opportunity for the enemy. Alright, so we need to go all the way to Esteldin. Esteldin? Esteldin. Um, oh, man. It's quite a long journey from here. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, here we are in Esteldin. Um, wow. Look, we're all the way up in the North Downs. So previously, we were like way over here. We've come all the way around up to the North Downs and we're in Esteldin right here. Um, man, North Downs is really a cool location. There's lots of remnants of like the old kingdoms and stuff like that. Of course, Angmar is up here to the north. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a lovely place, a really lovely place. But uh, there's lots of lore here, which is really cool. It's a lot of fun. But right now, we gotta go find Halbarad. Um, who is one of the rangers, and apparently he's dealing with some orc problems up here. Um, so we're gonna go talk to him, see if we can help out at all. Uh, we are a little underleveled for this quest, this is a level 30 quest, but um, usually the book quests aren't too, too difficult. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Halbarad, there's Der Dervoon right there. Um, yeah, there's a ranger as well. Guess they're just hanging out all over the place here. Okay, here's Halbarad. How can I be of service? Word has spread about the help you have given the rangers to the south. Here in the northern lands, we need your help now more than ever. Could I speak with you a moment? While the eyes of Esteldin have been turned to the east, news from west and south tell me that the enemy is moving on many fronts. I fear that the strength of Esteldin is nearly spent, and alone we cannot face this greater threat. A council of the free peoples of the North Downs must be called, yet before I do so, I need more knowledge of this threat. I need to know if Fornas, once the capital of Arnor of old, has fallen under the sway of Angmar once more. If the enemy has taken and fortified the ruins of Fornost, we are in the gravest of dangers. Travel to Minchim, a ranger who camps on the fields of Fornost to the west, and ask for his aid. It's still raining. We actually made it over here pretty fast. Um, it was nice. I, I, I burned a mithril coin or two getting over here, but uh, it worked out, I think. So, okay, where's, um, oh, right there, okay. So we need to make our way over to uh, Amon Wraith and, uh, and then move west from there. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys some of the uh, landscape of North Downs while we're passing through because I don't know how much questing I'm going to do here. It's actually a really beautiful uh, little zone. That, uh, there's lots of, like, farms and stuff uh, throughout the area and uh, ruins off in the distance. Of course, you can see there's, like, a dwarf little village up here, Dorf Stronghold, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's actually a really nice looking place. This area over here, the Fields of Fornos, actually has a lot of character. It's actually a really cool cool looking place, kind of spooky. Um, 
but just really neat overall. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. All right, everyone, here we are atop Amon Wraith. And uh, over here to the north, you can actually uh, see the fields of Fornost uh, with all the white trees off in the distance. And there's Fornost, the, the city proper, uh, up there to the north. And right down here um, is the Greenway. You can't really make it out very well, but it's running here. Uh, to the west of us and runs all the way down south to um, through Breland actually and past it um, so j just to give you an idea of where we are that's where we are now there are some quests here Might I take a moment of your time these are level 26 we're actually a bit over that at this point um, so I'm gonna go down uh, and talk to Minchim who's over here west of the Greenway all right here we are we've just met up with Minchim and we've actually entered the fields of Fornos, so you can see uh, it's a pretty gloomy looking place, lots of fog, of course it's still raining. Um, way up there in the distance you can see, uh, what was it called? Amon Wraith? So let's talk to Minchim. How gray is the shadow upon my heart. Yeah, mine too, buddy. The enemy retaking Fornost of old? Aye, from what I've seen here, I believe it most likely that they have. From this lonely camp I have seen the specters of the Oathbreakers stir, and fell spirits from Angmar take shape upon the fields. I've also seen orcs spelling out from the gates of Fornost, so yes, the enemy has indeed taken Fornost once more. What cannot be told is the strength of the enemy within the ruined city, and for that I shall need your help. You stay a moment and learn of my troubles? <laughs> okay, so basically what he wants us to do is go up to Fornost, to the gates of Fornost, and scout it out, and defeat some orcs and some wargs up there and we'll come back to him and bring a report he's gonna give us a nice cloak nice red cloak and some reputation uh, with the rangers of Esteldan so let's um let's actually pick that quest up a shadow beast of Fornost roams near with his pack of snarling bar guests should we um is he really nearby oh look there he is blood eye should we take him out let's do it our first test in the fields of Fornost. If we can get around these other dogs, um, we'll sneak up on him, right? Should we sneak up on him, Blood Eye? He's not going to be ready for this, is he? He's level 26, so I'm not not too 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 worried. Um, look, he's walking right through this other guy. Oh, there's a shade over there too, an Oathbreaker. Okay, let's 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 pull him before he uh, before we uh, get too close to that shade. Oh my gosh, there's so much lag. Okay, we're gonna pull him. Let's do it! We've done it. We've pulled the other the other two as well. We'll uh, riddle one of them. And uh, take Blood Eye out. I mean, he's not too tough, is he? We've got our bob and weave going, I believe. So hopefully we'll uh, get some heals going. Oh yeah, there we go. I can see it working out already. Oh, and we've we've completed the quest, even though we haven't defeated all of the dogs. Um, let's take them out real quick. Oh, these guys are easy. A little bit of lag. Sorry about that, guys. All right, here we go. Nice. Got some reputation, some experience. Very cool. We've come to a crossroads. If we keep going north, we'll hit uh, the city of Fornost. If we head west. We'll actually end up in Evendim, which we are going there eventually. Uh, sorry about that. A little bit of lag. Um, not too long till we head over there, I think. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of cool stuff to do in Evendim. Uh, lots of good quests, good areas, um, cool lore, all sorts of stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. Looking forward to questing through that area. Oh, here we go. The city of Fornost. Now we have to look for some orcs and wargs and kill them. <laughs> um, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I'm assuming they're going to be around level 30. Oh, level 26. That's actually um, lower than what we are. Uh, so this should be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and sneak anyways, just in case. A little surprise strike for our friend the warg. There we go. Alcott is well on his way to becoming a warg slayer. Um, which I guess is something to be proud of. I mean, wargs are pretty mean. I would like to think that, that um, 
the wargs could change, though, you know? There's that one warg who, you know, he's been a warg all his life. And, um, sometimes he thinks there's more to life than just being a warg. And, uh, you know, killing people and, and feasting on their flesh. And being, like, pushed around by these, uh, these orcs who are just, like, rude and, like, don't treat them right and stuff. Um... I think I think that warg is out there, um, and I and I think I'm gonna try and find him. I think I'm gonna try to find that warg, uh, who maybe I could befriend and I could keep him, like as my pet, as my faithful companion, my number two, you know. Um, we could share our our meals and 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 lots of laughs. Um, apparently, it's not this guy. <laughs> it's not this guy. He's he's very upset at me because I I probably just killed his friend. His little buddy. Um, okay. Blogmall Ravager. Are these the guys I'm supposed to kill? Yes. Ongbur's Orcs. Ongbur's? Ongbur's? Orcs. Alright, 4 out of 10. All right, will you be my friend? I, I mean, I, he's probably not going to be my friend if I attack him. You know, that's, that's quite a nasty surprise to be, like, stabbed in the back by a, a tiny little burglar with hairy feet. Um, so it's understandable. Alright, I need two more orcs and two more wargs, uh, which should not be too much of an issue. Let's take these two out right here. Buddy, I'm sorry about this. Look at that, that like loincloth, that like chainmail loincloth. It's a cool little outfit. I, I would like to see Al wearing something like that. Um, I don't think they have any, any kind of cosmetic outfit like that in Lord of the Rings, um, but they should. I think they do have a, a like, an outfit for the dwarf. Um, only dwarves can wear it, where, it, like, it, it's basically a, a shirtless dwarf, um, which looks pretty goofy, uh, if I'm being honest. It looks really goofy, um, but it's, I guess it's cool that it's there. Like, if you want to run around, like, as, like, a, as a big shirtless, stocky dwarf. Uh, I guess some people are into that sort of thing. You know? Shirtless dwarves. Are you, do you guys like shirtless dwarves? Let me know. Let me know if you want to see some shirtless dwarves on the channel. And I'll, uh, I'll try to work it out. Alright, we've succeeded in our quest to kill ten orcs and six wargs. And we're gonna head back down to the south to Minchim. And let him know, um, that Fornust has very much been taken over by the orcs and the wargs. And, um... That's probably bad tidings uh, to be to be sharing with him. Honestly, uh, it means that Angmar is on the move once more. Uh, but I think we knew that already. Uh, like since the beginning of the game, we knew that there was trouble, trouble afoot in Angmar. Um, but we'll go on and pass on the news. Man, I gotta say, this just looks beautiful right now. I know it's like supposed to be spooky, but you can see the sun off in the west, uh, setting in the distance over um, some of the ruins of Evendim. Um, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, Minchum, we're back, and I'm sorry to say, they've taken over Fornost. It's a sorry day. You are truly of stout heart to face such beasts. You have my gratitude, Alcott. I only wish I could have done this myself instead of sending you in my stead, but time and injury prevent me from wielding a sword, let alone drawing a bow. I didn't even use a sword. Or a bow. Oh, actually, I did use a sword, I guess. I'm sorry, I misspoke. From what you tell me, Angmar did not merely send a token force to Fornas. Nay, it appears they sent an army. Fornas has fallen once more to Angmar. Okay. Will you lend me your ear? Quickly now, you must return to Halberad. Okay, we have to tell him about Angmar in Fornas. So. Does this take us? Where does this take us? I don't have the corresponding quest. Okay, I have to run all the way back to Stelden. So I'll do that. I'll see you guys over there. Alright, Halberad. It is December the 8th in Halberad's study, apparently. Um, we're back. What can I do for you? I suppose we can be thankful that we are no longer as ignorant of the enemy's plans as we once were, yet the question of how we will face this threat looms over us all. The people of the North Downs must be called together for a council to deal with this threat. There is much to do, and much I will ask of you in the days ahead if you are a willing spirit. Okay. Oh my goodness. I have three... What? Chapter 4, Chapter 5, Would Chapter 6. Would you do six. something for me? 
Okay, so basically we're calling a council. We need to talk to the dwarves of Othrakar. Might I take a moment of your time? We also need to talk to Gildor Inglorian, who is in, um, where is he? Lynn Giliath? Could I speak with you a moment? And we also need to talk to Nelly Boskins, who is in Trestlebridge. Ah, so next time, I think we'll probably do some traveling. I know we didn't do a lot this episode, um, but next time we'll get back into it, do a bunch of traveling, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of fun. Alcott, we'll, uh, we'll call this council, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to unite the peoples of the North Downs against this common threat in Fornost. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great night. Cheers! Cheers!